today's topic is China. I will spend a lot of time. So I will just talk with Japan. 我在一个月之前讲演，同样的题目，他讲的就是东亚，就没有任何反应，只有讲。我没有想到在相当多的人是关心到亚太地区。I didn't expect that in so focused on the relations. Because I've been working for many years, and I've been working for many years. For many years in China, Japan relations and thought was the focus of my attention. For many years in China, Japan relations and thought was the focus of my attention. For many years in China, Japan relations and thought was the focus of my attention. For many years in China, Japan relations and thought was the focus of my attention. 僵持的关系。There were a lot of changes in East Asia. The biggest change was at in the fourth of the diplomatic relations between China and Japan, and our relations got into a deadlock. 中国叫做辛辛苦苦四十年，一夜回到。Commentators were saying that we spent forty years efforts in vain, and now our relations is almost like in the wartime. Yes. 但事实上，这个现在的中日关系连解放前都不如。中日关系所谓的建交之前，建交之前，中日之间还有民间的互动，叫民以民促官。Actually, actually, before um uh, before they established the policy between China and Japan, there were still personal and government exchanges between the two countries. 民间的互动都大大的减少了很多。But now we see that the personal exchanges between China and Japan almost came to full stop. 中日之间的航班大大减少了很多。The flights between China and Japan also decreased tremendously. 人去日本了，日本的客人就很少有人到中国。好在呢，像我和加藤这样的，我们是有。原因很简单，去年九月十一号，九，日本出现了购买钓鱼岛。The reason is obvious. Um, it, uh, on, on September 11th last year, uh, the Japan needed to purchase the Delhi Islands. 实际上，我认为，就我对日本中国之间关系的了解，我认为日本没有必要购买钓鱼岛。Well, from my own studies for many years, I think it's unnecessary for Japanese government to do this. 呃，我有点在这个呃，加藤面前有点失礼。我觉得野田内阁在这一步棋上走的是比较、比较错、比较臭的一步棋。I have to, I have to be very rude and impolite in front of you to say that Japanese Prime Minister Nato made a wrong move. 因为我们知道中日之间钓鱼岛问题是一个历史上存很多年都存在的一个。很有争议的问题，这个所有的人都知道。Because all of us know that the dispute over Delhi Islands or Senkaku Islands is a heritage issue. 中国政治家之所以在这么多年的主权问题，主要是出于建交的考虑。For many years, politicians in China do not mention this topic because we want to maintain good relations with Japan. 而且呢。建交之后这么多年来是在日本的实际控制之下，这也是事实。And we know that it is true that after the establishment of relations between our two countries, the islands were under administration by Japan. 尽管中国在主张搁置争议、共同开发，日本呢虽然在这个问题上有所异议，但是基本上建交这四十年相安无事。China we should put aside the issues over the island to seek joint development. Japan also agreed, even they, even though they were reluctant, so that for the past forty years we did not have a problem. 而且大家都知道，要是呃，对不起，三分钟，对吗？啊，而且那个。这个中日之间在春晓游击田已经在达成协议进行共同开发。Also, China and Japan had agreement to jointly develop the 春晓 oil gas field. 
。但是事情事情出现了，我觉得未来考验中国和日本领导层，特别是新型领导层，他们对这个问题的做法的时候。The problem is already here now, so the future is a test for the new leadership in China and also in Japan. 要一个稳定的中日关系的平稳发展好呢，还是要一个每天都还在这个地区狂这个这个巡回、紧张气氛浓烈的中日关系好呢？两国都会有一个比较明确的答案。嗯Do the, do the leadership want the stable and solid China-Japan relations, or they want the conflicts, patrols, and surveillance of or every day near the? 由于时间的关系，我仅仅最最后在这之间，尽早的回到我们的所谓的战略互惠关系当中来。嗯。I think the leadership should have a clear answer to the question, and because time is limited, I just want to say one thing. That is, I hope China-Japan relations can return to what is a mutually beneficial relations. Thank you. Ah, thank you, Li. Ah, Yang Xuan. Ah, we. Ah, I think that we will now hear some of the other side of this version. Maybe not in terms of disagreement as such, but certainly a different perspective from. Yes. We now have five minutes to present this, and then we will go to the session. Yeah, thank you. And more, any other things that you want to touch upon? Yeah, thank you. Please. Good afternoon, everybody. I totally agree with Professor Zhang's view. Actually, now China-Japan relations are getting worse and unstable. But actually, the situation is structural and long-term oriented. So actually, we need to argue, you know, more, you know, in a complicated way. And I concentrate on my focus on the China-Japan relations and saying that together and then. And I, my argument was three. One is what happened. Two, solutions. Three, the United States. How should the United States play a constructive role between the China and um, actually it's very important. And uh, first, uh, what happened to crisis? Uh, because I really agree with the Professor Chan's point of view. Now, the China region is the most serious situation you know, since the normalization in 1972. And now, what happened with this program? Actually, one is information gap. You know. Between China and Japan, we back to shared communication because you know a lot of China is in you know over the Senkaku. China is even you know offending, over aggressive to the territory disputes. And actually, a lot of Chinese people don't know oh this place has been administered by Japanese government. You know, so now between China and Japan, we could not have back to shared communication information gap. This is one first point. Second, diplomatic negotiation was failed. I mean, realization, you know. And Japanese government, central government said, it, we normalize the islands, but each, it actually exchanged property rights in the Japanese domestic rights. But, you know, we failed to propose what to do, uh, what we want to do, you know, so miscalculation. This is the second point, you know, miscalculation, miscommunication. That would be a situation. The third, in my eyes, now the government governance capability, both in Japan and China, are in decline. Governance capability. You know, for Japanese, for Japan, Chinese government, it's very difficult to stabilize the society, you know, politically, economically. So that's a very important point. Third, fourth, power balance in East Asia are strategically changing now. Now Japan is rising up politically. We hope. We hope. <laughs> and, China, and China is rising up undoubtedly, you know, economically, culturally, you know, and a very entire rise, right? So now power balance is in East Asia, Pacific region are you know changing very, very strategically and dynamically. So that there are four reasons why it happened current Senkaku crisis. So actually in my eyes, you know, not probably not that administration, uh, we could do a better way, you know. Don't use normalization, but probably we need to explain more deliberately, not only to Chinese, but the Western world. And that's the point. Better solutions. I imagine you know, the first is accountability. Both Japan and Chinese government they need to explain well to the to their own public, you know, facts, to realize the fact shared communication. Now, Japanese government should say, oh now, this is under disputes. Because Japanese government say no no disputes, no territory disputes. We do we do not do anything based on the forty years ago, you know, the precondition. Now the situation is getting changed. That's why we need to recognize disputes are existing. Chinese government 
as well, right? Now, probably now, Chinese government tries to change the fact. You know, they try to you know administer the island, but actually the situation is. Professor Zhang said, actually administered by Japanese government, it's a fact, right? So Chinese government say something to their own public. This is one thing. Second, top diplomacy. Now, you know, Abe, Xi Jinping appeared, right? So probably it's, it's a kind of turning point. So now I'm really looking forward to see the kind of top diplomacy. Now, you know, Japanese politician is in Beijing, right? So probably for the letter uh, to Xi Jinping, so it's a kind of turning point. The top diplomacy, I mean, top and top meeting and shake hands would be realized as soon as possible. <laughs> right? okay. Third, lost. I lost. Yeah, yeah. Third, uh, probably we need to update the diplomatic agreements because now, you know, the situation is getting changed. You know, over, over the islands, Japanese ship, plane, you know, Chinese aircraft, they are now it's under confrontation. That's why we need to sit this. We need to sit sitting down and establish a new agreement. And finally, U.S. Uh, what should the U.S. do? One, U.S. ambiguity is no longer working. Now, you know, the United States say, oh, calm down. You know, <laughs> and say, uh, actually, you know, propose. Now, you know, they very obviously oppose to the Chinese action. You know, we oppose any unilateral actions, you know, that would seek to undermine the Japanese administration. And now, and they, when, when they meet with Chinese government, oh, it's very important, US-China relations. That, so that's why I, I, I think the ambiguity is not working. And second, no, no, no we, sorry, we'll have to break this up. We, we, we can get yeah. back to it in the, yeah, in the, in the discussion, because if, yeah, if you want to ask any questions whatsoever, yeah. this is your 10 last minutes of opportunity to do so. so can it's fast? Uh, can it's no, no, fast? We, will, we, will, we will do this very, very, very quickly, I mean, yeah. in, terms of, in terms of questions. Yeah. And I want one sentence questions <coughs> from you. I do not want any speeches or certainly not any explanation of historical circumstances. Uh, it takes three to begin with. Yes, start over there. Yeah. Uh, back, yes, please, sir. Uh, just stand up. I read an article about uh, regarding that uh, the aggregation of Ireland is a kind of protection of the relationship between us. Uh, my question to the cartoon is that, uh, how do you predict on this and the Japanese side in handling it? Okay. Let's, let's start with you, since you were the one who <laughs> had back to you. <laughs> yes, uh, to you. Uh, actually, you know, what I mentioned about, you know, uh, we announced, we, now we are going to nationalize the island. And what is the purpose? To protect, to stabilize the Chinese generation. Probably from, you know, in terms of Chinese guys, you know, it's very hard to understand why. Actually, you know, for Japanese government, if Tokyo's governor, Ishihara, very nationalistic guy, right? If they buy, purchase, the island actually he could do anything you know to you know dispatch some guys or to you know construct some you know hospital school probably possibly but you know if if we central government purchase but actually it's not project it's just the kind of exchange right property rights you know if the central government to, to do this i really believe it's a it's a great advantage for you know maintaining central generation that's why that's why uh, the central government made a decision to do it but probably you know I mentioned four reasons why it happened. The reasons are more complicated, more complicated, you know, I just mentioned. And probably predict the future. I personally think now uh, Abed and uh, Xi Jinping, they know how important the, the Senate Federation is. So I don't think some kind of you know, military confrontation or war, you know, it's, you know the Hillary Clinton or Obama administration, Senate Federation. So I don't think the situation would be out of control. Uh, but I, I really hope that the United States could propose a platform mm. to calm down the current property. You know, now, sign the United States, the world number one, number two, now cultivate the 1.5 track. Probably it would be very effective. Mm. So now, it's got a huge impact to the age of the <coughs> So, yeah. Um, 
I hope asked Olivia to uh, say quickly on, on the next minute. There are huge reasons of strategic and security yeah. and economic interests from all three parties, uh, yeah. the, the two, you know, US, for not having this escalate, um, but not a willful pursuit of conflict going into incidents uh, that are then yeah. going to be hard to control, given something that is, is obvious to everyone in this room, but it's probably worth mentioning formally, which is the popular nationalism in both China and Japan on the Trump and how much it's ginned up, uh, but it's, it's a fact mission that I think makes us all the nice here. And going from actually was a particularly troublesome thing because they move a lot faster. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, thank you very much. Mr. John, how, how, how significant is the popular nationalism? You still have a question of my own. Yeah. 呃,是,现在,实际上这也是中日之间的一个世界。Why uh, I think that um, nationalism is a problem in China and Japan really?就是说民族情绪的这种对话,一个是有最关键的是历史上的原因,当然还有现状的原因。Well, of course, this nationalism is from historical reasons, but there are also some current reasons.事实上,中国在无论是南海还是东海的 要找问题上，中国国内的舆论界实际上是一样，中日之间呢，由于关系特别，有小事那就是大事，所以呢显得媒体很热闹，而且参与的人也多。Well, actually, the South the South China Sea problem is similar to the East China Sea problem, but because of the 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 history between China, any small problem with Japan can become a big problem and attract a lot of attention from the media and the public. 但是这里边我所觉得安慰的呢是两国的官方，比如说他还有这个呃某一些呃不保持冷静。But I feel the policy makers, the um for and the scholars in both countries can keep a cool mindset.关于今后呢，我认为只有一个办法，坐下来谈。嗯。I think for the I think for the one solution that's that's both parties table. 而且昨天，从昨天这个日本的呃特使这个山口到北京访问之后，我觉得我已经看到了这种曙光。And yesterday, special envoy from Japan visited Beijing and he told me that。尤其是安倍在他亲笔信中已经写到，因为他是不承认有争议的，可是他在亲笔信中写到，希望两国的最高首脑坐下来谈，我觉得真是好开端。Mm. The letter of um, Prime Minister Abe, uh, he said that he doesn't admit that, but he hopes that, that the top leaders from um, both countries can come back to the table to talk. Mm. And I feel glad about that. Okay. Two more questions, really quick. Yes, up on the side there, please. Yes, um, very briefly, how much are vessels both in the East China, China Sea as well as the South China Sea mitigating factor in? Uh, driving escalations or prohibiting escalations. So is it really worth for countries to go into combo blocks when there is so much more evil sides of things in stable? Uh, one there, yes, at the end. Please, you, you, can you stand up, please? Uh, I'm trying to show kind of immaturity after the, the island's disputes in the attacking of its own communities and attacking of anybody who bought Toyota and other Japanese products. How does this, or how do other countries kind of view China in this kind of sense afterwards? Will China's reaction, Chinese government's yeah, reaction, have an impact in other? How do okay. countries view China's image? I get it. Mr. John, let's start with you. <laughs> 那你所属的经济经济专属经区就属于你，这当然是大了。What we can say is very big because um the the declamation line can decide the exclusive economic zone for each. 你说它小就小，为什么呢？因为现在权威的说法，没有人能够证明说钓鱼岛海域。but it could also be small factions cannot show how much oil is I'm talking about the oil. I'm talking about the, 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 spread, uh, yeah. the disruption of economic relations and the problems of the people. See, this is for Well, that is for sure. The, the, this dispute is changing the economic relations between the two countries to show that. 对不起，但是上过证明这个下边周围海域感染器。嗯。
Um, about the oil, uh, about the oil gas field uh, inspection, uh, we can only find the natural gas around this sea. 而且有日本朋友跟我说，这个天然气日本是不大需要的。他如果说那，<笑>如果说他去开发、去开采的话，他只有卖到上海才能够。<笑><笑> Um, actually, one of my Japanese friends told me that Japan doesn't need the natural gas. If they exploit the natural, they have to sell the natural gas to Shanghai. 但是不管经济利益主张，应有分歧，那么他共同去享受这个利益，共赢。嗯嗯。But I, I don't, I don't think it's the economic interest, or it's okay. as long as there are disputes, we should solve it jointly, develop so that. 好的。<laughs> you want to go first, not take the picture. Oh, right, right. Yeah. Uh, I really understand what you're saying. Inter uh, interdependent, right? You are independent. We are independent, right? It's, uh, it should be realized. So, uh, actually, I am very concerned about you know what's happening after this and the huge inter-Japanese sentiment. Uh, actually, now you know Honda, Toyota, or very China, a uh, Japanese company in China. Actually, their production or their you know, sales are basically basically recover and uh, recover to you know the current. Actually, no. Our willingness to you know promote the economic creation actually is very strong. That's why I'm writing post to control the territorial political point. And, and finally, you know, actually, my book in China already prohibited. <laughs> so, 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 so speaking, you know, we we are one understanding between China and Japan, but you know, system, you know, Chinese political system, we should be more okay. So we need to. Make more efforts and promote the mutual understanding. You know, from from our point. So thank you very much. What the senses you think? Yeah. I can just say welcome to the club. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. I think that the two questions that were posed are actually uh, quite closely related. And I'll say just a word on that. But before that, on, on the the oil and gas uh, narrow economic question, which I know is not the point. Nobody's going to touch those fields until some accommodation is reached. Uh, and. You know, despite a lot of, in, in the scenic unical deal about resources, you know that's that's a that economy that has gone highly commodified, yeah. and much of that money somebody drills the holes rather than who actually owns the thing. Uh, so you know, I wouldn't worry too much about that. But um, on the broader, I mean, I think what we're facing is we're talking about China moving beyond economic cosmopolitan humanistic man. There's something now that's primal tribal now. We've <laughs> been seen a lot of that. We've been seen a lot. I mean, uh, yes, the effort paid, but there is a willingness to pay. The suspension was probably more dramatic than the failure for a while. Uh, that's real. That's deep seated. And I don't think we know how it's going to turn out yet. One is at this point you know, that even the China-Japan economic is now fundamentally asymmetrical. Much as China's relations are, so China's more in the driver's seat. That may or may not be true. Perception, I think. Uh, secondly, we don't know what the great disjunction is going to mean. That is, East Asia right now is still characterized by economic engagement and bandwagoning with China and security hedging with the U.S. Yes. Um, China very much. If it really starts, think, and I think the view in the U.S. certainly, and also China's neighbors, is that there is something disconcerting upper tantrum. Uh, and what now is, how do we cope with that? It depends on how we analyze it. And there, there is. There, Primal nationalism is a genuine of the Chinese leadership, or whether it is cooked up and used. But for having rushed you to what is, and I think quite a great discussion among the people who are here. Uh, I apologize for that. I mean, get back to the topic later on. But first of all, yes. Um, we'll aim to have lunch end at around, uh, go to the specific place.